Hello everyone. I'm Murali Krishna. Today, I'm going to share my knowledge on block cipher design principles. First of all, let us discuss what is block cipher. A block cipher encrypts data in blocks using a deterministic algorithm and a symmetric key. In this method, the plain text is divided into blocks of equal size and then each block is applied with an algorithm associated with a key. You can observe the image here. Here you can see that the plain text is divided into different blocks. After dividing, they have under, undergone through an algorithm using a key and turned into a ciphertext blocks. Here the main point is like, you need to remember that every block must be un undergone with the algorithm separately. So due to this reason, every block will be undergone with the algorithm separately. The time taken to calculate the whole process is more. Therefore, the disadvantage of this block cipher is slower encryption speed. And the main advantage of this block cipher is strong tamper resistance without any detection. Now, let us see the block cipher design principles. So, there are block size, round function, number of rounds, key schedule, algorithm. With this help of all four, we can determine the complexity level and performance of the algorithm. So let us discuss block size. Most commonly used block ciphers have block size of either 64 or 128. We can say that 64 is a bit lesser than 128. Due to this reason, 64 bit block is easier to calculate than 128 bit block. Therefore, the greater the block size, the greater the complexity. A block size is inversely proportional to the performance. Let us suppose the block size is 64. And if we want to calculate or apply the algorithm, then the time taken is a bit less than the block size of 128 bits. Due to this reason, the increase in block size increase in time complexity. Therefore, block size is inversely proportional to the performance. Let us discuss about this round function. The round function is the core part of the block cipher structure. The complexity of the round function is directly proportional to the security level and is inversely proportional to the performance. Let me explain. Here, the round function is nothing but the algorithm. So if the algorithm is too much complex, then it is harder for a hacker or outsider to decrypt your code. Therefore, the complexity of the algorithm increases your security level. And as the complexity of the algorithm increases, it is harder for you also to encrypt. Therefore, the time taken for the encryption and decryption increases. Therefore, the performance decreases. Number of rounds. The number of rounds is considered an important factor in designing as it helps increases the complexity of an algorithm. In this block cipher method, we'll use the number of rounds concept so as to increase the complexity of the algorithm. Here, the number of rounds is directly proportional to the complexity and is inversely proportional to the performance. The number of rounds is directly proportional to the complexity is because as you increase the number of rounds, generally we will be using the number of rounds like 12 rounds, 16 rounds and 20 rounds. So if you used only 12 rounds, then what will be happening is the time taken for the 12 rounds is a bit lesser than the time taken for the 16 rounds. Due to this reason, as you increase the number of rounds, the time taken will be increased. Therefore, the performance decreases. And also, as the number of rounds increases, the complexity level also increases. Thus, the hacker or the attacker has a difficulty to decrypt your algorithm. Key schedule algorithm. Here, this method is very useful. In this every round, a subkey is generated to increase the complexity of cryptanalysis. Deep decryption must be done very carefully due to presence of the avalanche effect. Here, let me explain about the avalanche effect. Avalanche effect is nothing but if you change a small bit or anything in this cipher text, the plain text will be changed. Or if you change anything in the plain text, the cipher text will be changed variously. So due to this reason, the performance may decrease. So friends, I hope you understood the concept. So these are the four principles that are very useful while using the block cipher. Next time when you are going to use the block cipher, remember these principles and it will be useful for you. Let me go through a small uh, info again. Block size, 
round function number of rounds key schedule algorithm and a main suggestion is like by using the round function it is better to take non linear functions than the linear functions i hope you enjoyed my video thank you